Well, hello. Um, welcome back to my presentations. And this time, I would like to present a very interesting topic, which is very important in day-to-day -day life because one day you will have the opportunity to present a speech in a very special occasion. So once again, my name is Dion Ginanto. I am teaching in, a, in one institution in Batanghari and it's called IAIN. So as I mentioned before, that one day you will be you will face you will be you will be faced in a very special occasion that forced you to deliver a speech you know for example a wedding ceremony or funerals or graduations or award ceremonies or inaugurals or farewell party ceremony so nearly always they there are occasions for speech making a close friend proposes a toast to a bride and groom. The sales manager presents an award to sales representative of the year. Or the president delivers an inaugural address. Or maybe the, ba the basketball coach gives a speech honoring the team's most valuable player. Or family member delivers a moving eulogy to the deceased and then the speech that helped give the occasions that is called the specialness right and they are part of the ceremonial aura that marks the event so the content of the speech is not just merely to convey informations all right or to persuade or to entertain but rather the speech in special occasions is aimed to fit with the special needs of the special occasion itself so your speech can be to entertain your speech can be to inform or your speech maybe is also aimed to persuade so so it's depend on what what occasions that you are delivering your speech all right so one example of the um, special occasion speech is the speech of introductions so for example you are the a master of ceremony or you are the moderator of a seminar and your job is to introduce the speaker of the seminar or the keynote speaker of the conference so you introduce your the main speaker the speaker to the audience so in this case you need to be careful because you cannot speak very long enough and you cannot speak very short enough because maybe you, you cannot introduce well so this is the things that you need to consider so your speech should be brief all right and then you need to make sure that your remarks are completely accurate so you need to do like a small research about the speaker you are about to introduce all right and then you need to adapt your remarks to the occasions right once again do not be so long and do not be so short all right and then adapt your remarks to the main speaker all right and adapt your remarks to the audience right so the key points your your speech needs to be adaptable all right and then try to create a sense of anticipation and the drama what does it mean by this all right so you want to make the audience right really um, you know like wow even though the the audience know the speaker but you create the dra the drama like you introduce the speaker not to mention the name but to mention what the accomplishments of the speaker and then you know 
what what he or she has been done so make the audience curious and then at the end then you introduce his or her name right or often you will find yourself in the situation of introducing someone who is fairly well known to the audience a classmate or a colleague at a business meeting right a neighbor in a community group right then you should try to be creative and case the speaker in a new light for example so talk to the speaker beforehand and see if you learn some interesting facts right something facts that is really interesting like what for example what is your favorite food what is her favorite beverages or what is something funny that he or she has been done in 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 his or her life right um but one thing that is really important if you can relate the fan fact the 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 facts or fun facts that can be relate to the speaker's topic all right so above all if you expect to be creative or dramatic be sure to participate to to practice your speech right of introduction the roughly to roughly you should be able to deliver it ex extempor nicely with sincerity and enthusiasm so this thing is very important because you want to impress the audience uh, before introducing the speaker so you need to be really you know good enough so that to make sure that the audience remain where they are before the main speaker come to deliver their, their speech all right the second example is speech of presentation so for example that you are given a chance to present someone a gift or an award or some other form of public recognition so the speech usually be brief and be short right for example you are delivering a speech in Oscar Oscar right or in a or if you in any award right you are announcing the the first winner the second winner the third winner right so the main purpose is to the, the main purpose is to tell the audience what the audience received an award or why the audience received the award right and explain what the award is right? and then if needed take a moment to price the losers so you need to recognize those who do not win the competitions right and then the other example is the speech of acceptance so the one that i explain is like to give the presentations but now is to accept the award or the uh, to accept the gift so in this example here is leonardo dicaprio in oscar um, uh, acceptance of award so this speech is a speech that gives thanks for a gift or an award or some form of public recognition. So the purpose is to give thanks for a gift or an award. So it depends. Sometimes the, um, the occasions only give you five minutes right, or seven minutes for you to speak. So you need to be brief and do not be so long and don't forget to thanks a very special person that uh, make you uh, get an award and also you need usually people thanks to god thanks to their family to the spouse etc etc and then another example is commemorative speech speech uh, 
that is of praise or celebration. So to celebrate, for example, an Independence Day, or in Indonesia we have Kartini Day, or Teacher Day, or Mother's Day, right? So the aim is to pay tribute to a person or a group of people or an institution or an idea, right? So this speech is not to inform your listeners. Rather, it is aimed to inspire them, right? So by remembering or by commemorating a, the special day, we can get the a message behind the day that we are celebrating or we commemorating so thank you this um, presentation is uh, mainly coming from book of Lucas year of 2010 and I really recommend the book because this book is very good the title of the book is The Art of Public Speaking. Uh, the author full name is Stephen Lucas. So um, my book is the 10th edition. So well, once again, thank you so much. So if you happen to have an occasion to deliver speech in a very special occasions, you need to remember that of this stuff so be brief make sure your remarks are completely accurate adapt your remarks to remarks to the occasions adapt your remark to the main speaker right 